Okay. Hello everyone, my name is Paul Gibson. I'm a graduate student at Grand Canyon University of Sociology, emphasis in sociology. Today I'll be talking to you about effective communication. What is communication? Culture that fosters dialogue, exchange of meaning takes place, collaboration among team members through verbal and nonverbal means. Communication is a process that takes many forms, including newsletters, faculty staff meetings, office hours, internal platforms such as emails, blogs, and tweets. Why communication can be difficult in higher education? Education is a complex process. Education is a multitude of social actions where various cultures and teaching behaviors are transmitted. Instructors and staff are experts in their fields of study or position and they are accustomed to defending their positions. Everyone assumes adult roles and responsibilities and do not feel obligated to always report information to respond to requests must maintain positive public perception in lieu of negative perceptions and global crisis events on college and university campuses. Best practices when communicating as a team member. Share governance. Each team member has a role and understand and respect others roles and contrib contributions. Transparent. Each team member must be clear on their ideas and thoughts. Authentic. Each team member must be genuine and use facts so that, they, you, so that your contribution is believable. Welcome conflict. Listen more, improves relationships, establishes a pattern of predictability, and adds new perspectives. Use active listening techniques. Stop. Look. Listen. Be empathetic. Ask questions. Paraphrase. How to de-escalate a conflicting situation. Avoid the need to be right. You don't always have to win the conflict. I'm right and you're wrong scenario. Another one. Find, a hum find humor in the battle to keep the argument from getting out of hand. Work to see both sides. Often there is no right way or wrong way of doing things. Conflict resolution can be helpful by having two people work to find a way that will meet both of their needs. Achieving a culture of communication isn't a one-step process. It involves strategy and pur pur purposeful implementation Implementation, I'm sorry, but it can, it can make a significant difference for leaders, for faculty, and staff members, and for students. And these are my references where I got my information from here. And I thank you for your time and your patience with me.